Hello everyone. Now a lot of you watch my video on the surrender of Lord Cornwallis, my trivia question, and you mentioned that you really enjoyed it. So I thought I'd do another trivia question kind of along the same line. So, the, uh, by the way, my name is John Hamilton. I'm a freelance writer here in Yorktown, Virginia. My articles often appear in a local newspaper. But the question is, now the the Siege of Yorktown, also known as the Battle of Yorktown, was from September 28th to October 19th, 1781. 22 days. The last day, of course, was when Cornwallis surrendered. Now, how many American and French soldiers died over those 22 days? Okay, the Americans and the French fought together versus the Germans and the British. The Germans were mostly with the British. Um, but how many American and French soldiers died total? A, 88. B, 820. C, 8,500. D, 80,000. Okay? Now, I'm going to wait a few seconds here and then pause the video. Spoiler alert. So if you want to think about it or... Go back and ask, you know, watch the question again, rewind. You know, I'll give you a little bit of time here, and then I'm going to explain the answer. Okay? I'll watch all the rain out the window. Well, never ends. Okay. The answer is A, 88. Now, I'm not going to say just 88, because they did sacrifice their lives for us, but... That is pretty surprising. So 22 days, 88 soldiers, it was about four per day, or right on four per day. Um, you know, it, you just weren't talking big numbers back then. I think the troop strength for the Americans and the French was about in the 7,000s. The, Amer the British and the Germans was about 9,000. Now, the British and the Germans lost more. They lost, historians don't know for sure, but somewhere between 150 and 300. But even then, you know, when you're, when you're talking about, you know, the Civil War, you know, battles in the thousands, and then, of course, World War I and World War II. So, 88. Yeah, I, thought that, I thought that was really interesting, but those were very important 88 people because it led to the formation of our country. Okay? Well, that's it. Post any comments below, but please keep them related to the topic. And we'll see you for the next trivia question. Thank you. Goodbye.